St. John Vianney on the Holy Spirit. Oh, my children, how beautiful it is. The Father is our Creator, the Son is our Redeemer, and the Holy Ghost is our guide. Man by himself is nothing, but with the Holy Spirit, he is very great. Man is all earthly and all animal. Nothing but the Holy Spirit can elevate his mind and raise it on high. Why were the saints so detached from the earth? Because they let themselves be led by the Holy Spirit. Those who are led by the Holy Spirit have true ideas. That is the reason why so many ignorant people are wiser than the learned. When we are led by a God of strength and light, we cannot go astray. The Holy Spirit is light and strength. He teaches us to distinguish between truth and falsehood and between good and evil. As a watchmaker with his glasses distinguishes the most minute wheels of a watch, so we, with the light of the Holy Ghost, distinguish all the details of our poor life. Then the smallest imperfections appear very great. The least sins inspire us with horror. That is the reason why the Most Holy Virgin never sinned. The Holy Ghost made her understand the hideousness of sin. She shuddered with terror at the least fault. Those who have the Holy Spirit cannot endure themselves. So well do they know their poor misery. The proud are those who have not the Holy Spirit. Worldly people have not the Holy Spirit, or if they have, it is only for a moment. He does not remain with them. The noise of the world drives him away. A Christian who is led by the Holy Spirit has no difficulty in leaving the goods of this world to run after those of heaven. He knows the difference between them. The eyes of the world see no further than this life, as minds see no further than this wall when the church door is shut. Those who are led by the Holy Spirit experience all sorts of happiness in themselves, while bad Christians roll themselves on thorns and flints. A soul in which the Holy Spirit dwells is never weary in the presence of God. His heart gives forth a breath of love. Without the Holy Ghost, we are like the stones on the road. Take in one hand a sponge full of water, and in the other a little pebble. Press them equally. Nothing will come out of the pebble, but out of the sponge will come abundance of water. The sponge is the soul filled with the Holy Spirit, and the stone is the cold and hard heart, which is not inhabited by the Holy Spirit. A soul that possesses the Holy Spirit tastes such sweetness in prayer that it finds the time always too short. It never loses the holy presence of God. Those who have the Holy Spirit produce nothing bad. All the fruits of the Holy Spirit are good. There are some people who find religion wearisome, and it is because they have not the Holy Spirit. If the damned were asked, why are you in hell? They would answer, for having resisted the Holy Spirit. And if the saints were asked, why are you in heaven? They would answer, for having listened to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit leads us as a mother leads by the hand her child, as a person who can see leads one who is blind. The sacraments which our Lord instituted would not have saved us without the Holy Spirit. Therefore, our Lord said to his apostles, it is good for you that I should go away. For if I did not go, the Consoler would not come. The descent of the Holy Ghost was required to render fruitful that harvest of graces. We should say every morning, O God, send me thy spirit to teach me what I am and what thou art.